Hey guys, come join me as we go toy hunting at a Goodwill in a very cool flea market in Arkansas. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I wanna make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just gonna make a ton of videos and value my toy collection, and then I'm gonna make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. Well, on our way to Branson, Missouri, we stopped at a couple of thrift stores and a Goodwill in Arkansas. We can't pass by a Goodwill without stopping sometimes. They didn't have a ton of stuff here. They had a lot of plush on the toy aisle, and some of their plush needed a pretty good bath, but um, I did pick up some pretty cool things that I'm going to show you just in a second when we get out to the car. Um, I didn't find any deal of a lifetime, but that's part of the fun and the hunt when you go to a thrift store. You never know what you're going to find. So let's see what we got thrifting. I'm usually a sucker for vintage things like from the 60s and 70s. So I got this little fruit basket for $3, probably worth about six. Got a little bicentennial patriotic trivet for a dollar. It's worth about five. I got this cool clown. He was $5, but I would value him at at least 10. I got a Jimmy Carter little tray for a dollar. It's probably worth about five. Got an iCarly microphone for $1.50. I'd value it at about five in my toy collection. Got this Batman figure for $1.50. I'd value him at about six. I got this Ninja Turtle figure that I did pay $5 for, and I'd value him at probably only about eight. And I got a Stormtrooper for $1.50. I'd also value him about six. Well, I did get this little sushi for $3. It's worth about eight. I got a hand carved rooster for five that we're going to sell for about 20 at the booth. I did get the big Yoda for $7 and we'll give him a bath. I got an LOL stage for $5. So I got all kinds of things. So then we decided to go to lunch at this little place there in Conway, Arkansas called the Marketplace. We had a really good lunch there. I was really glad we stopped. Sometimes we'll just stop and get fast food and keep going. But we took the time to have a nice lunch and it was a lot of fun. Ah, oh, if only your phone or computer screen was scratch and sniff, you could smell how good this food was. Oh, it was so good. Well, we were just a few miles from Missouri when we had to stop at a rest area. And of course, there was a flea market across the street. So it didn't look like a whole lot from the outside, but I'm so glad we went in. It was so great on the inside. And sometimes that's what flea markets are. They're in old buildings, but they have treasures everywhere on the inside. So right when you walked in, we went to the left. Where was your typical flea market? A couple vendors here and there. Um, I found a couple toys scattered. Like I saw this Shirley Temple plate right here that I might come back and get. I really liked it. So no matter what the booth looks like, you never know what little treasure you might find in there. You have to really look through everything to find the good stuff. I did see this little figurine from the 50s. She's a little Broadway star in her pantsuit. So might get her. This Annie lunchbox is pretty cool, but it's marked at $28. Uh, now, this phone is really cool. It's a Coca-Cola polar bear phone, so I might get that. Now, they had these vintage metal lunchboxes in the back, but sometimes I can't remember which ones I already have. I saw this stack of rings that I think I'm definitely going to get. This is pretty cool. It's pretty vintage. Um, this booth had a few cool things. I did like this Avon diesel truck. I might come back and get that. I love toy booths that have the different vintage toys. That is always what I look for. One thing I love about a flea market is no matter what you collect as a collector, they usually have something that will fit into that collection. Now, the front end of the flea market was kind of like every other flea market, but this back end of the flea market was like part of my dream flea market. It had all the old vintage signage on the walls. It had high ceilings. When I do get my toy museum, you know, I'm going to have to make part of it a flea market, and that's how I want mine to look. I really wanted this little parking meter bubblegum machine, but I, I didn't have the space to get it. Saw this Smurf tray I wanted. There is always 10,000 things I want. Um, I already have these large He-Man figures. I saw it at a toy show. I had to go get the whole set. 
I just love being at a flea market. I, it's always my happy place. And I usually spend about an hour or two just going through all the different booths. I know one day I will have a building that's half flea market and half toy museum. I think this was my best find. It's a large Coca-Cola Shark Tales rug. It's humongous and it's only $16. I really like this KFC sign, but it was about $150 and I didn't want to pay that. Um, I had a lot of old metal vintage trucks and cars. I really like those, but you know, you have to pick and choose when you're at a flea market. You can't spend thousand dollars every time you go to one. So I think I did spend about a hundred plus here, but I picked out the specific things I liked the most. Again, I was just really impressed with the eclectic mix of stuff they had at this flea market. This is how I would want my flea market to look. A wall full of license plates, vintage signage on the wall, great vendor booth, pretty fair prices. It was just a fun day shopping, and it was just one of those roadside attractions we stumbled upon that we had a great time at. And on my last run through, I found this um, vanity case that used to hold a mirror and comb set. So let's see what all I bought. I did buy the Coca-Cola phone. It was $40. I bought the Shirley Temple plate. It was $6. I bought the vanity case. It was only $12. It was a steal. Um, I got the stack of rings, which was $16, but I really wanted it. I got the little Broadway figure. She was $5. I got a metal Snow White refrigerator for $25. I got the really cool Coca-Cola Shark Tail rug for $16. And then I got this cute little country mouse for $6. I saw her on the way out. And we did take that large Yoda back to the hotel and got him all cleaned up. He looks good as new. So with my day of thrifting at the Goodwill and Flea Market, I spent $166 total. And then when I add it all up, it's worth $330. So with a fun day of thrifting, I was able to add another $164 extra to the value of my toy collection. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. It's from a series we're making on YouTube called Value in My Toy Collection. If you did enjoy it, just hit subscribe. We're going to make tons of other videos showing you the toys we find and part of my toy collection. So thank you so much for watching.